Here at the Whitby Fund for Nature, 2022 has been another busy year as we work to provide funding, training, and profile to grassroots conservation leaders across the Global South. This year, through your generous support, we've been able to channel well over one million pounds to community-based projects that are benefiting wildlife, habitats, and people. Together, our winners are making a significant global impact by leading local environmental solutions. With this in mind, our local planet was the theme of our flagship Whitley Awards this year, which saw a joyous return to an in-person ceremony at the Royal Geographical Society. We were thrilled to reconnect with so many of you there as we celebrated six inspiring mid-career conservationists who were each awarded £40,000 in project funding. Working with communities, this year's winners are Protecting Endangered Species and Their Habitats Nurturing Vital Wild Plant Diversity and Safeguarding Our Oceans Against Plastic Pollution at the ceremony, past Whitley Award winner Dr. Chari Mishra was awarded our top prize, the Whitley Gold Award, worth £100,000. Charu, who received his Whitley Award in 2005, is today the world's foremost expert on snow leopard conservation and a pioneer of the community-based conservation approach. Through his Whitley Gold Award, Charu is improving the practice of nature conservation across the globe by training conservation practitioners, including many of our alumni, in effective and ethical community engagement. As an alumni's names are at the heart of what we do, 2022 also saw us award £700,000 in continuation funding to 11 past Whitley Award winners as part of our line of approach. These follow-up grants allow our network to expand effective conservation solutions and respond to changing needs. Collectively, this year's continuation funding grants will benefit more than 334,000 people across 30,000 square kilometers of the Global South, protecting endangered species and supporting nature-based solutions, which jointly address biodiversity loss, landscape degradation, and climate change. Gladys Kalema Zukusoka is one of our continuation funding winners whose project existed in September as part of our project monitoring and evaluation processes. Her One Health approach to conservation seems to protect gorillas from zoonotic diseases by improving the health and well-being of communities in and around the Windy Impenetrable National Park in Uganda. With continuation funding, she and her team will extend the reach of her project to strengthen gorilla health monitoring and improve the health of at-risk communities, monitoring the reduction of cross-species disease transmission. As part of our Winter Network Development Program, we held our first in-person training week at the Kampala Research Center in Kenya this August, bringing together 14 past Whitley Award winners from across Africa for a week of alumni-led learning, networking, and peer-to-peer -peer sharing in collaboration with the Tropical Biology Association. An incredible and impactful week, we look forward to taking this initiative to our Latin American winners in 2023, then to Asia in 2024. We were able to share the story of our winner network training thanks to a new storytelling partnership developed with documentary platform Waterbear and Nikon Europe, who generously supported us with Nikon camera equipment. We have worked to bolster the profile of our 2022 winners in the UK and their home countries throughout the year, and have continued to support our 200 strong alumni network with media opportunities. Proudly seeing Whitley alumni, such as Farwiza Farhan, go on to gain recognition from the likes of Bill Gates, Hillary Clinton and Dr. Jane Goodall, and secure a spot as a future leader on the Time 100 Next List. Conservation optimism remains integral to our communications, and working with the organisation of the same name, we've helped to bring our positive, solutions-based stories to new audiences, including our conservation toolkit for early year conservationists which has now been translated into different languages. As the world has seen three major environmental conferences focused on climate, trade in endangered species, and biodiversity over the last few months, we have used these as an opportunity to elevate our winners' voices, causes, and projects, and strengthen our call for renewed support to locally-led grassroots solutions to tackle the urgent climate and biodiversity crisis that we face. We're delighted to bring the year to a close with a series of events to reconnect with our wonderful supporters. Dominic Bukaba joined us for an event with our friends in November. 
showing that success of his work with communities to protect forests and the gorillas who reside in them. A few weeks later, past Whitley Award winner and Brazilian conservationist Claudio and Susana Padua helped to create an extra special dinner for our supporters, discussing firsthand their landscape restoration and education work in their home country. Our annual Next Gen event in December was put on in partnership with the Comedy Wildlife Photography Awards and took the form of a wildlife comedy quiz night. We were thrilled to see so many young supporters join us on the evening and look forward to seeing this network continue to grow. Finally, we're thrilled to share that the Big Give Christmas Challenge was once again a huge success thanks to your incredible generosity allowing us to close the year having raised an additional £100,000 for conservation. We want to say a heartfelt thank you for all that you've made possible for WFM and our winners this year.